Hi guys, this is Colette, welcome back. I am here to do the makeup basket for the upcoming board. <laughs> I got bored and I started pulling for things that weren't even in the makeup basket like this, like some new stuff that I have around the house. And uh, I just figured, you know what? If I'm tired of the box, I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm just going to switch the box because I'll tell you this in February, some of you may know that the February box had carried over into March. And one of the things that I traveled with in February when daddy passed was this palette. It is the Huda Beauty Obsessions um, Topaz palette love this palette and you can tell that I've given it some love as well so I did travel with this one and so I am going to allow myself some wiggle room to reach for things that you know maybe I have an occasion come up and that I wasn't planning for and it would be a good way to get things in here so I have some things in this basket right here and Oh, shaving cream. <gasps> well, the powder itself didn't break, but look. It's my LA Girl powder, and the finicky person that I am, this is going to just bother me. Top broke, really. And for who I am, this is going to really totally bug me. <sighs> that was going to be part of the makeup basket. Let's keep it moving. As I was saying, I want to pull for things that, like this Tila eyeshadow that I picked up from Marshalls. Um, I want to keep this on hand just in case I have a special occasion, maybe a date night or something. You know, going out with another couple, I want to throw that in there for that reason. Um, I am going to go ahead and pick up the Morphe foundation and it's the F370 that I've been using and I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up um, later on today, I think. All right, so for mascaras, I've been using, lately I've been using the Milani with the L'Oreal primer. I'm gonna add the Snapscara and I had to throw out one of my older mascaras. So the superhero from It Cosmetics that has been in play. So these will be my mascara picks for the month. And primers, I decided to go with the Lorac. I have a large size and I wanna finish up this tube. The Sephora Amplify um, Beauty Amplifier, that one. And my go-to Urban Decay um anti-aging i should have primer okay so we started there let's talk about um foundations i picked pulled out the l'oreal true match my shade is in warm seven caramel beige that's that then i have the ellie girl pro matte foundation which i've been loving since last year this shade is in Cafe. And uh, I am gonna play with the True Blend Matte Made in Caramel. One, what's that, T70 from um, CoverGirl. So those three are drugstore, but yes, those I wanted to play with for this month. All right, setting powders. I have the Born This Way setting powder, ethereal setting powder, the translucent version. I also have the Pretty Vulgar loose powder. And this was supposed to be my pressed powder that I was going to use and, and set things on the go, but whatever. <sighs> For bronzer, I'm going to keep my matte bronze from MAC. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I didn't get much use out of it. Um, didn't pull for it much, so I still wanna see if I can do something with this and keep that moving. For blushes, I am taking out my MAC Whole Lot of Love 
blush looks like this in the regular packaging i also pulled out from the um, fleet fast collection some navy collection they had a while back this is called fleet fast it's in that limited edition packaging that's what the blush looks like and i'm also gonna use eternal sun it's one of the pro prolonged wear blushes and that's what eternal sun looks like it's a neutral blush so i want to get that in there i also decided i was going to incorporate this little makeup forever palette i think these two are blush shades and that's the highlighter so i'm gonna go ahead and use if you notice a trend with me i always have some kind of peach toned or orangey toned blush on hand i just love it it's just my thing i have to have one of them so these two will be the blushes so i have about five blushes picked out here okay i have the coco matte powder foundation you can see the rib on it i'm gonna go ahead and keep this i probably just use this to set my foundation and forget about that la girl pro face because it's gonna totally bother me that the thing is broken and i can't close it. it's just like already i'm upset <sighs> okay so for the eyes I did take out my soft ochre paint pot from MAC and I'm also going to add Ling Lo, which these are the two that I use most frequently. You can tell with that. So I'm going to add them back to the, the box because they are staples in my uh, collection. I was trying to fish out something here. I pulled out two of my NARS eyeshadows from my eyeshadow collection for, with Mars, from NARS. This is um, Outer Reamer. Now what I noticed happened this morning, this, the hinge also broke. Look at that on my NARS Outer Reamer. And Outer Reamer is a very pretty, pretty blue eyeshadow. Do you see that? I've only used it a few times and I would love to get some more usage out of this bad boy. So Outer Reamer is added and um, Himalaya. Himalaya I also added and it's one of the newer eyeshadows from NARS. So yeah, got those added in. For skincare, I decided to take out from the BoxyCharm boxes. I received two of the Luminous Dewy Skin from Tatcha. I ended up with four because I got two in the box. And when I was visiting Georgia, my sister gave me hers, even the lace mask. So I have now have two lace masks and four of these. So I threw in these in the box. <clears throat> What's wrong with my voice? Um, so I threw in these in the box and I'll let you guys know how I like these. Okay, now for the eyeshadows. Let's talk eyeshadow palettes because it's going to be a mixture of high-end and um, Juvia's Place is one Juvia's Place. And um, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so this is my mini Nat Natasha Denona mini star palette this one i have used it a few times and i did like you know the shades and the colors in here so i am going to go ahead and throw this in there i pulled out my anastasia beverly hills sultry palette because i purchased this palette and i've only used it once um actually i didn't use it i lie I haven't used it. I swatched it and played with it, but I have not really done a look with it. So the Sultry palette is out for play. And purchased the Juvia's Place Tribe palette. This is my last palette I had purchased from them when they had the sale. And I snagged this for a good price. And I have not had the pleasure of using not even once, not one look have I done with this palette. And I've had it for a few months since last December. So yes, y'all finna get some green eyeshadow looks. If you follow me on Instagram, that is the fastest way to see 
my looks that I create daily because I tend to post um, on Instagram to show the looks that I create with the palettes and so on. Sometimes, some days, depending on what's going on around me and with me, some days I don't get to come in here and make videos as much as I want to, unfortunately. Um, uh, what you call high-end palette, which may not think it's worth it, but eh, it's this um, Pat McGrath. I can't even read the darn thing. Pat McGrath Mothership Subversive Metam Metamorphosis Eyeshadow Palette. Look. For as much as they, she charges for these gosh darn palettes, you should be able to read the palette name. Get rid of so much of the cardboard box, my lady, and, and just put them in a regular palette like everybody else and just put the names. Look, this is another pet peeve of mine. I cannot stand shadows with the names on the plastic. It totally burns my biscuit. This palette I also swatched, have never used it, have not used it yet. So I really want to use this and see the other palette I've used, but for as much as it costs, number one, put the names of the shadows beneath them in the palette, number one. Number two, make sure we can read the name of the, the thing. Number three, where all of this box I'll go? You can lower the price. You can totally lower the price, okay? And from the quality and how it performed, not this palette, the other palette I own, you're gonna totally do better. I know people say, oh, it's Pat McGrath and it's this and Auntie Pat, not Auntie Pat, my backside. She can do better, okay? Because there are other high-end brands out there, other makeup artists who are celebrity makeup artists that, you know, do palettes and you get way more bang for your buck than, than, than this. This is $55. But I didn't pay $55 because I was not buying it without a good sale. Okay? But anybody want to come for me, feel free. Feel free. I won't care. I'll just block you behind. But I'm going to tell you, no, it ain't all that. No, it ain't all that. But that being said, I want to use it because i spent my hard-earned money on it and it's mine and i already invested in two of them things would i buy another one no not really i can get a dupe and do the same thing sorry it's not all that i think she can do much much better with not only the pricing but the packaging the writing on the packaging because you can't read jack squat and um Put the name of the shadows beneath the shadows in the palette. Get rid of the little plastic something. Thank you very much. Rant complete. Next, Lorac Los Angeles Mega Pro 3. I have not really played with this baby since I bought it. So I would like to play with her some more because these are some nice shades in here. Most of them are cool toned, but... I want to see what I can come up with. And the collector in me had to purchase this. It's not necessarily that the colors were so amazing. I do love Lorac shadows. However, I think um, this this section is what drew me. And this, this is the area that I've been using from. So anyway, I really want to show some more love to this before I take and get rid of it. Because... I paid good money for it, y'all. Anyway, that is it, guys. Um, I'll share some looks with y'all. Tell me what you think. And talk to y'all soon. Enough love. Walk good. Bye.